the heart of the South. That's my Alabama. That's my home. Hey there, I'm Olivia Gambrell, and here's my story of some places and some people that make this beautiful state home to me. Buckle up because we're headed in every direction, from interstates to back roads. Join me on this journey through our sweet home, Alabama. First stop on my journey was in Auburn, Alabama. I'm not gonna lie to you, this place was a hard one to get used to considering we are about the biggest Alabama fans you'll ever meet. We had lunch at Cheeburger Cheeburger, which was so good, but the tour around campus that followed wasn't too fun with bellies that full. Visiting the local shops in downtown Auburn is a must, but at the top of your Auburn bucket list should always be Toomer's Corner for some of the best fresh squeezed lemonade you'll ever have. I'm far from an Auburn fan, but that lemonade might even make this girl say War Eagle. Auburn has become home to some of my best friends and this fall my sister will also be joining that crowd. It hurts so much to see her go but I can't wait to see what all she accomplishes here. We're so proud of her and can't wait to see what her future holds. Next on the list, Lexi and I hopped in the Jeep and headed out west to good old Winston County to Addison, Alabama. It might sound a bit strange that this one red light town means so much to me, but part of my heart has always been here with my grandparents, aunt, uncle, and cousins. We picked up my cousin Landon and headed to Natural Bridge after this. I've always seen pictures of this place and wanted to take a day trip, but never found the time for it. My goal from now on is to stop talking about wanting to do stuff and just get in the car and go. This is the longest natural bridge east of the Rockies, and it was even prettier in person. Sometimes cameras just can't do things justice. part two of today's journey doesn't really go with part one. It just made perfect sense because we had to get all of that Auburn out of our system. Our next stop, you probably guessed it, God's country, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. For as long as I can remember, my daddy had drilled it into my head that Alabama football was the greatest thing ever. We grew up coming to gymnastics meets and the occasional football game day. This place has always put a smile on my face.
We walked around campus and saw all of the must, from Fraternity Row to Denny Chimes and even the President's House. We headed to the main strip after this, and it was pretty calm. Okay, well, it was a Monday during school hours, but it was still calm. And it's not a trip to Tuscaloosa without stopping to eat at the original Dreamland Barbecue. You can get ribs, a rib sandwich, and that's about it. Some sliced loaf bread, barbecue sauce, banana pudding, and a sweet tea. Now that's a good day. rainy day adventure is better than a normal day at home, right? Juju and Olivia take on Scottsboro, Alabama for the next stop on the journey. Scottsboro is a charming little town, but our draw to it and their claim to fame is unclaimed baggage. I would best describe it as the most amazing thrift store with mostly brand new items. They literally still have the tags. Unclaimed baggage is exactly what it sounds like. The company buys and sells unclaimed airline luggage. Clothes, shoes, jewelry, you name it, they probably have it. My granny, who is my Juju's mother, actually worked at the unclaimed baggage in Boaz, Alabama back in the day. So hearing these stories about her really made the day special to me. I hope Juju enjoyed it as much as I did. After checking out some of the local stores, we both agreed it was time to eat. We chose Payne's, which is a local restaurant that is full of personality and charm. They carry the classic Americana vibes that keep customers coming back as if they were going to relive their good old days or simply enjoy the presence of a friend. This place was adorable and the food was amazing. After seeing our last stops, I guess I should say welcome to the big city of Birmingham, Alabama. This place has a hundred different feels all wrapped into one place. You can have an urban lifestyle and then be in a small town within five minutes. It's truly a unique place. Lexi and I drove around downtown for a bit and we found the cutest plant shop. I'm the worst plant keeper of all time, but I had so much fun looking around. There was something for everyone. to Homewood after this. Some of my favorite shops are here in Homewood, including Alabama Goods, where local artists sell their work. It's always inspired me to take pride in myself and my community when I visit this shop. Oh, and how cool is this? My first art teachers, Chad and Megan Nelson, sell some of their work here as well. You have to check out their upchucks for some serious personality. And if you want to know the truth, the real reason we came to Homewood was for Cookie Fix, the greatest cookies of all times. Just trust me on this one.
last official stop was Hattie B's, a chicken joint a little ways from downtown that did not disappoint. I got a hot chicken sandwich and they were not lying when they said hot. The Gamble Girls will definitely be eating here again. Welcome to South Alabama, home of the Gulf of Mexico and the beachfront towns of Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. This place is more than a vacation spot for me and my family. I think at this point we would qualify as locals. It's not the beach if you don't start out at the original Oyster House. I would make the five hour drive any day just so I could eat here. While we're waiting for our table and then our food, we always walk around and look at the shops outside of the restaurant for some cute souvenirs and other local finds. As fun as shopping is, when the food comes out, there's no question where I am. I always order the shrimp au gratin with a side of turnips and cheese grits. dedicated to shopping, which was good and bad. Good because we started the day at the wharf, saw some pretty boats, and shopped around. But it was bad because we had a pretty day that we spent away from the beach. We had a ton of fun because really any day at the beach is a good day. Here I am again, obviously working on that summer body. Not really. I was on a dessert kick. Hope's Cheesecake is a must if you are in the area. My personal favorite is the turtle cheesecake, but then again, I haven't found a cheesecake here that I didn't like. This place right here has taken up so much of my time through the years. Most of that time was given up voluntarily though. Rainy days, bored afternoons, back to school shopping, Tanger Outlets in Foley, Alabama is my place. It's so much fun because you never know what kind of deals you will find. Saving money or something like that, right? I to stay out on the beach for most of the day, but it was still a bit too chilly for me. So I dressed up in my finest sweatpants and t-shirt, and Andrew and I headed out for putt-putt at Adventure Island in Orange Beach, Alabama. It was his birthday treat, so I had to take it easy on him with my killer golf game. That was a lie if you did not pick up on the sarcasm. even begin to list my beach memories through the years. I love this place so much that it often feels like family. So if you've never visited Alabama's Gulf Coast, you're really missing out. Plan a trip as soon as you can. I think those white sandy beaches might be calling my name right now. Our next stop on our journey begins with Magnolia Springs. I seriously come here just to look at the trees. I mean, wow, just look at them. Another cool fact about this place is that many of the residents get their mail delivered by boat into their mailboxes. 
That's my kind of service. Across the bridge, we headed over to Fairhope, Alabama for some low country vibes and a simpler way of life. Fairhope is a quaint little town outside of Mobile that is known for its beautiful coastal southern homes and of course the docks on the bay. This place often seems too good to be true. We decided for lunch that we would eat at Panini Pete's, which has been featured on Food Network and even Guy Fieri gave this place his okay. I know if he approves, then I would too. Oh, and don't forget the beignets if you stop by. shopped downtown for a while and I even ran into some pretty nice ladies that I might have seen a time or two before. It was a pleasant surprise for sure. And the best part of this area in my opinion is the Grand Hotel. I've always loved this place but I believe Andrew is absolutely in love with it. Anywhere with a putting green makes this guy happy. The coolest part of the day was for sure the cannon shooting. A man came and spoke about the history of the area and honored those who came before us with the firing of a cannon. It was a really special moment. stop on our South Alabama tour is Mobile, Alabama. We used to come down here for work meetings with my daddy when I was a little girl and my memories of that include eating boiled shrimp, seeing the battleship, and seeing daddy's girl for a free dessert at some restaurant. Not much has changed through the years. I'm not much of an early bird but for a pretty senior session for Lexi with Miss Jenny there's not much that we wouldn't do. As we walked downtown, it was so neat to see how the area is evolving from a combination of a rich, detailed history to a modern artistic field that is attracting a new age of people. What a beautiful way to see a city change and grow. Another 10 out of 10 beignet recommendation is Mobe beignets. With a variety of dipping sauces and an abundance of powdered sugar, you will not regret stopping by. Our standard I-65 detour is Peach Park in Clanton, Alabama. Stop by to stretch your legs, grab a snack, and check out some local produce. I've been coming here for as long as I can remember, and our number one must every year is to take a picture on the horse. He's been around for a while now. But as fun as this adventure has been, there's no place like home. So with that, I want to welcome you all to Coleman, Alabama, my hometown.
I woke up early with one thing in mind. How can I give back to the people that loved and supported me through not only my college journey as it is coming to an end, but also just as a thanks for loving me through it all. All I could come up with was donuts. I know, inspiring. When I got to the world's famous Duchess Donuts, they were closed. So I continued on. I stopped by Warner's, which is one of my go-to gift spots for local goods. No worries, I stopped myself from wanting to buy the whole store because it's always really tempting. My next spot was Smith Farms, right off of I-65, headed towards Coolman. I often daydream about the smell of the various cheeses, meats, and other snacks. This place is a local treasure for sure. Chambers Farm and Garden Supply helped me find some sweet plants to surprise my family with when they got home. I love a springtime porch. I just need to set a reminder to water the flowers. Again, not my expertise. At this point, I knew exactly what would make every Wednesday, food. I was the only one off work that day, so I thought, let's eat local and make everyone happy. It's a win-win. I started at Rumors Deli, where I ordered two Reubens and a Mouth of the South, which is basically a sandwich with everything on it. You can't go wrong with that. After rumors, I made my way to Busy Bee Cafe where I ordered two burgers with the mix. Don't ask what the mix is, just eat the mix. It's a Coleman thing. I'm pretty sure I had a happy bunch when they saw me coming with all of this food. took the long way back. Sometimes it's just good for the soul, and this was one of those days when that's exactly what I needed. Wide open fields, calm lakes. That's my Coleman. It's my happy place. But there was still one very important person that I was missing. Lexi, the girl that just got her first job. I decided to go to Downtown Nutrition where I ordered a Miami Vice tea. I think the newly working lady approved. And after weeks and weeks of traveling and filming, I got to end my journey with a tiger's blood with cream snow biz snow cone. It doesn't get much better than that. Looking back over my film, I realized that I accomplished my goal, to share my state, my home that I love so much with the world around me. But my home isn't just a place. It's looking back through the years at the memories that were made that you didn't realize you were making. It's the places you thought would be in your life forever until one day you realize it's not the place. It's the people that make that place a home. Home is a state of mind. It's the people that you love. It's the people that love you. Be at home wherever life takes you, my friends.